Yo, Fluffy! My girl! What's up? Right, let's move on to the main course. How is there audio for that? Can you guys hear that? Can you hear that? Or is that really quiet? I think it's okay. There. How you doing, Fluffy? Thank you. Thank you. How you doing, Fluffy? Lemons, thank you for the raids earlier, by the way. Hope you got the Pokemon that you were looking for. I'm at this point now in Sword and Shield where I've raised everything more or less that I want to raise. Um... And, um, there just really isn't anything else for me to do except for hunt shinies, so, um, that's mainly what I'm up to. And I told Grey, um, that he and you are going to stay in my house when you come over. <laughs> in my guest bedroom. <laughs> Oh gosh, that was scary. I do want to continue with shield, but I just haven't felt like playing any games. I've missed playing- I've missed your Animal Crossing island. I was playing a little bit of Animal Crossing the past few days, trying to fill up the Critterpedia thing. But, um... I haven't done that in the last couple of days, I've just been so effing busy! Now, I was supposed to be streaming No More Heroes 3, and as soon as I get it, I will stream it. Um... I just need to get a ticket, we ever stay covered. Yeah, I was telling, um, I was saying that, I was saying that, um, you guys are gonna come up and come and see Devin Townsend with us in concert if you guys even like him. <laughs> so, I was like, hey, you can stay at my house. I'm here waiting for someone to start again. How's it going? I'm all right. And there's Gray. We've got a guest room. You can stay in our, you can, the fuck, Tabby. How you doing, girl? Right there with you. My girl. Three, two, one, go. Oh god, I thought I was you. We have the same Max skin. This has got to stop. One of us has got to change. Yeah, this is uh, this is Tabby, aka the best Mac player I know. Well, you might not be playing them. The brackets aren't finalised by any holy oh, stretch of the imagination. Even a rational feed of Mac in this game. Max a good boy, that's why. Goodbye. Tabby and I go pretty even a lot of the time, but Mac did was also we have the same outfit, so it's hard to keep track of who's who. <gasps> I just about shot myself there. Ah! I have no idea how I still have my KO punch after that. Beautiful. One of us has got to change- right, the loser's changing their outfit. We're agreeing on this tab, what the loser changes their outfit. Because this is not going good anymore. What was that?
Oh Gott. Change the outfit. Change the outfit. Come on. <laughs> Good game. That was a brilliant game. Get that hoodie off. <laughs> the power of the pink. Why have you got an irrational fear of Mac in this game? Also, who's Oofers? I want to know who they are. Also, can I just double check that my follow alert is working? Let's see. That's the sub alert. I like her better when she's horny. No. <laughs> okay, Travis. Hello. Right. Hello. Follow me. Okay. It's not meant to be the whole screen. It's meant to be more like that. Okay, that's fine. Going to play against a little bit of your kid. Going to make some popcorn. What kind of popcorn do you like? Change the outfit. To change the outfit. Change the outfit. Yeah, Tabby is a brilliant Mac, so I pity anyone who has to go up against her <laughs> against her in the in the tourney. And there's lag. A whole lot of lag. Wow. Fluffy, you need to ask Rui if he's going to come up and see Devin Townsend with us. He'll know who it is. My man's got McDonald's Wi-Fi. You know what? I've had. I've been to a lot of McDonald's. I've been to a lot. Use a lot of their Wi-Fi, and I think it's not even this bad. Who plays Smash the McDonald's? <laughs> that being said, one of my friends and I, we went to a Pizza Hut once and we brought out our Switches. We were playing Pokemon Shield because we'd both just bought it. And the kid, like, sitting at the other table was so jealous. And we could see him, like, glaring at us. Like, with his, pa his parents were obviously eyeing us up, like, no, no, you're not getting a Switch. And then this kid was looking at these, like, grown adults, like, sadly, like, strategizing over the pizzas, like, oh, how do we beat this mute? <laughs> This kid was so ragingly jealous. It was hilarious. Anyway, how's everyone doing tonight? I hope you've had a nice Saturday. This day has gone super, super fast for me. I'm doing surprisingly good today. That's good to hear. I've not seen in a little bit, Tabby, so I've been worried. Goodbye. I want to reach. I kind of want to reach 450 followers at some point soon. That's my next goal. Good game, good game. I've had better days this week, but compared to last month, definitely improving. What was happening last month? If you want to tell me that is. <laughs> School's been kicking my ass. Right there with you. School's been kicking my ass. That's why I haven't been streaming. Um, if you don't know, um, I have a full-time job and I also study full-time. I study online, so I'm able to, it's, it's, it is full-time, but it's like flexible. And, um, and that combined with me working in my second language, learning how to drive, studying and working full-time, I've not really... I've been very, very tired the past. Basically, since I started doing this degree, I've been fucking exhausted from it. 
It's very hard for me to do something at this level. I'm studying for a master's degree. Um, and I'm doing alright. I have I've gotten good grades so far and I haven't failed any classes or anything like that. So um, I'm really happy with myself. And now I'm on the final sort of stages of it. And it's really, really just very hard. My job is probably a lot... I don't know if I would say it was harder, but in a different sort of way. How many hours do you have on Smash? About 1,100, I think, now? Something ridiculous, anyway. Nah, just my regular depression. Oh, well, I hope you have ways of making it better and that you get the... whatever help is required and needed. But to be honest, like, I feel like because I work so hard, I don't really understand why people say they couldn't do it because I'm kind of like... But I am literally, like... If I can do this, then why couldn't someone else do it? Like, you know what I mean? But I never went that far, and now I just don't feel like starting on it because it feels like a waste of money for something I don't use. Yeah, to be honest, like, I'm studying for a field that's very sort of diverse in a way. It's like I'm doing, I study HR. And, um, and that you can do a lot of things with that, and it is relevant to the job I have now. So, um,. And um, talking about this stuff with my bosses in another language and doing like my entire job in a second language and everything like that. I have a lot of stuff in my brain. Um, so I was really, that's why I was so angry when No More Heroes 3 didn't come when it was supposed to because I was like, I'm going to get off of work on Friday and I'm going to go home and I'm going to stream No More Heroes. It's going to be brilliant. Um, brilliant game, Grey. Thank you. I studied Japan studies, so language, culture, my main interest, history. That sounds really interesting, though. I do fucking my B, my bachelor's is in fucking psychology, <laughs> and my master's is HR management. I'm a business school bitch. Right, I'll let you guys duke it out whilst I throw out my tea bag. Peanut time. I still do, but other than becoming a pre professor doing research, nothing you can do with it. My degree is a bit like that as well with psychology, but HR is much more practical orienti orientated. So, um, yeah, I do a lot of things. I'm also learning how to drive and I work full time in a very academically challenging job, I would say. Intellectually stimulating might be the better phrase sort of job and it's it's a brilliant job and I love it um but Jesus Christ I just really fucking need a holiday. I can't work full time, my mental state was already questionable working part time. It's honestly for me it's like the job was what made it for me. I had such a miserable time at my last job because it just wasn't somewhere where I was thriving and then when I got somewhere where I was able to thrive, like I was I still feel like I really could benefit from some time off, like a bit maybe not working 100% full time. But at the same time, like, I need the money. <laughs> Every time I work full time, I became suicidal. I'm sorry to hear that. That's not good. I'm glad that you feel that you can share that with me, though. I know money, it's just the. That's just how it is, but I want too many things and I've spent so long like being sort of like laid off and stuff like that. I was just fed up with it, so I just wanted to work as much as possible. I get a lot out of it though, so I mean I'm fine with it and I'm, you know, but otherwise it's just like, oh, okay. Capitalism, I know. It's how it be. 
They don't my issues. They don't want to lose me. I fucking hate the place and I want to leave. What is your job, if you don't mind me asking? Poor Gray. <laughs> He's just having to fight Little Mac after Little Mac. <laughs> Administration, registrar, a uni, local system manager. That sounds like you probably do a lot of different things. What is it that you don't like about it? If you don't mind me asking. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> Both are full time and I only work three days a week. Ah. The down air. Great job. There's only so much I can do and things can't be fixed because always running after everything professors and students can't deal with deadlines. Yeah. Guys, I think I'm a Ganon main. I think it's happening. Oh, Rob! <laughs> Literally, just as I said, I'm turning into a Garen main. There's Rob. How you doing? I've missed you really lately, Rob. We haven't been watching stuff. I miss watching crap with you. Literally, right, here we go. I'm gonna do Rob proud. I'm gonna be the best Garen player ever. Right, not doing so well. Let's come on. I basically am a Ganon main. With it, with how much I play Ganon, to be honest, I, I'm honestly like a Ganon player at this point. Yeah, you can't be expected to fix every single problem at work. You, you know, people just take advantage. Don't let them do that. You deserve better. I'm not doing so well. God damn it. I was hoping he would like armor through that. <laughs> I've missed playing Smash with you, Rob. But see, honestly, I use Ganon more than like my actual so called mains. Popcorn's ready. What kind of popcorn do you like? What kind of popcorn do you always have? I prefer buttered popcorn and like salt over the sweet popcorn. I don't like sweet popcorn. Oh crap, I'm dead. That was too early. Oh crap. Oh, thank you. I'm dead. I'm not dead now. Goodbye. Same, I just pour salt all over it. Melted butter and salt. I am dead. I didn't do so well that much. <laughs> I never have time to teach people and I was the only one who knew, which is why I ended up with a burnout in the first place. But they are finally making progress and learning things without me. Ugh, you need to get out of there, Fluffy. I hope you find something else. Rob, are you going to join us? To 
to be honest i had i've had a similar conversation with my previous boss who was like who said something fairly similar to that okay fair enough you, you can't join well it's the same so it's stuck to mac you know what since tabby has changed her outfit i'm gonna change mine as well I had a similar situation at my work as well, Fluffy. Like I was the only one who knew how to do, who knew how to do like certain routines and things like that. So I always had to do it because the my bosses could not be bothered just training up other people. To, it was like the closing routines, and I always had to do closings. And I worked at a bar, and um, the bosses could never be bothered teaching the others how to do it. Um. So I always had to do it and it was really irritating that I would get, if I if I asked to work like a lunch shift or even like a morning or an opening, they'd be like, no, you can't do that. For, and they'd make up all these bullshit reasons as to why you couldn't do it. You know what I mean? They made you feel so stupid. And it was just like... But then I had I had to have a talk with my boss because he called everyone into like an, a one-on-one -on -one meeting to like sort of see how things were going. And he asked me, um, he was like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. And I was just like, oh God, here we go. And he was like, why do you work here? And this was the same guy who sort of bragged a lot about how he was like the cool boss. And he was like the nice one. And he was always like, he was like, why do you work here? I get this is an easy job for you to get because you're not from Norway and stuff like that. Um, but like, why are you here? And I'm like, I was like... I'm here because I work here, you know what I mean? And well, what, I mean, what, you, what, what the fuck are you supposed to say back to that? And I was like, I work here because I just made something up, I think, and I don't think I really answered it properly. Um, and he was like, Ella, you're not a monkey and I need monkeys. Those were his exact words and I'm, and I'm still to this day, I'm like, what the fuck's a mon- I mean, it doesn't bear thinking about because who cares, you know what I mean? But like, damn, I was like, what's a monkey? <laughs> That's what your boss told you, I'm pretty sure it was that they didn't trust the others to do it. I mean, that was probably a part of it as well. It was fucking weird. I think what he meant was like, he needed like, he needed robots. And I wasn't a robot. So, <laughs> I don't know what that meant. I, I'm still like to this day, I was like, what? <laughs> Yeah, Rob, it was the same guy. The other boss was a total arsehole. He had a huge beard. I hated him. We meet again, Taps. I only have 5 million GSP, but I will still try. GSP doesn't really mean anything, though. Proper boxing match. Yeah, you don't get GSP for losing. So yeah, I think he meant like, oh, I want like obedient little robots and like youngsters, you know what I mean? Oh god. And things like that. But sheep, yeah, sheep would have been a better example. Yeah, well, I, we knew what he meant. And I was like, well, think to my, in my head I was thinking, like, I'm not going to stay in this fucking place forever. I've got a future ahead. I mean, that's no disrespect to people who work in bars, but it was not my career of choice. I was like, I have a future ahead of me. I'm studying for a fucking master's degree. And I came to a foreign country with no language skills whatsoever. Um, with nothing but the clothes that I had, more or less, and a couple of a suitcase or two worth of stuff and I made something of myself so don't tell me I'm not a fucking monkey because I'm way more than that I'm better than that arsehole he got his employees <laughs> it's no disrespect there was a lot of cool people working there I mean I loved my team leader she was awesome um she was like the same age as me, so I really, we were really cool together and we just worked well together. We had a good rapport. We're good friends outside of work, so.
So that was good as well. But you could tell that there were people who had no other choices and like who had no other options because they just weren't there for so long and it just become like that, you know, and there's some people who liked it, it took it far too seriously. And it was just like, my god. So I'm really glad that I'm not there now. I'm working in an office and... Which <laughs> suits me so much better, I can't even tell you. Good game, Tab. Sorry, just thinking of my microphone. Sorry. Fluffy, you need to get another job. I'll help you. That's my job now. <gasps> Sephiroth. I love fighting Sephiroth. Come on, Tabs. You're not flying on autopilot now. Get on board the poison plane. The poison plane. Rend. How's No More Heroes 3? No, no, don't, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I do want to know, but don't tell me. Tell me in one word. Sum it up in one word. I know it's impossible. No, don't tell me. I need to do Oh, I can't decide. <laughs> right, come on, Miss Thing. Yeah, Tabs, you need to Fluffy, you need some, um... Sorry, I just called you Tabby there. I hope you don't mind that I call you Tabs. I just, like... It's just, like... <laughs> I promise, as soon as I get No More Heroes to in my hands, I will be streaming it. Yeah, I have a lot of cases at work like that where people have had really sort of difficult jobs, like, mentally. Um, and I've told them, um, like, they either need to quit that, well, not to quit their job, but they need, they need to, that they need to take some time off if they can and to, like, find other alternatives because it's obvious it's not working for them. And I, I work with young people, so they, a lot of the time they often feel really guilty. And obviously I can't really say to them that, oh, by the way, um, well, that was brilliant, actually. Um, suicide Sephiroth. Um, they're like, yeah, your employer doesn't actually, like, a lot of your employers don't give a fuck about you because in shitty workplaces that is. But a lot of people feel guilty for it, but you're, there is no job that's more important than your health, you know what I mean? Like, jobs are important, but they're not worth that much. You know what I mean? There's more important things. Like, a job is just a job, no matter how much you like it, no matter how well you go on with your colleagues and how much f in fulfillment you might get out of it. It is just a job. And there you can... You don't, don't feel guilty, because your health is so much more important than just a fucking job. One word, crazy. Oh my god. I mean, it's crazy. Wait, that doesn't help. It's already crazy. Oh, it's gonna be fun though. I'm go we're gonna get to fry steaks. That is good game, Lemon. I like your the su the suicide Roth <laughs> play. That was actually kind of cool. I'm gonna be braver. I'm gonna use Mac aerials. Very nice. But yeah, I've been working... At... Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, um... In case, um... In case, like, I didn't get it, because I was thinking, like... Oh, I shouldn't really say anything, but... 
Um, I'm on a temp contract where I work, um, but on Friday I'm going for an interview to get a permanent position, so... Here's hoping it goes well! <laughs> I may be a bit too open about my mental health and job and whatever, but I take pride in all being honest and to some extent trusting. No, you should... It's up to you how open you want to be in about it, you know what I mean? And But I hope that all you meet is support, and, and if anyone else decides otherwise, then just fuck them, so... If... An employer gets upset about employees needing to take time off. It's their problem. It is their problem, Range. You're absolutely right. Right, now you guys can fight. I'm going to try out Ganon again. I hope so too. Um, and my reward to myself is I'm going to buy a car. <laughs> if I get it. <laughs> I've been playing quite well tonight, actually. What's going on in the Discord? This is a canon matchup, right? <laughs> I feel like a late night stream, but not necessarily Smash. Rob, how's it going? You said you were busy at work a lot of the time. How's it going over there? Have you got like loads and loads to do or is it ma or is it more manageable? It helps a lot we can chat about stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm not as open with my mental health stuff. Um, and that's mainly because I don't... But that's just a personal thing and I don't really know how to feel about sharing my stuff because it's a story that I've hashed a thousand times over. I lived through it, so you know what I mean? But... Um, if there's support to be given, then I'm here for it. Work is still busy, it doesn't seem to end. Is it always like that after summer? Or is the same over here with me as well? Like we've had summer is... My team at work is in a really sort of tough situation at the minute, so um... So um, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> If you ever want to confide or just run, I'm all up for it. Thank you. I have it under control. My hobby, that my, this is going to sound really bad, really stupid, but my thing that I do um, with it is journaling. I write a lot of stuff down. I filled six notebooks so far with <laughs> with um, just journaling about stuff, and it really that really helps me actually. The power of pink. The pink is the pink. The the, the power is stored in the pink. We've taken on, we've just taken on too many clients and I'm getting the work. I spent the last 10 years doing five hours a day. Yeah, Drop, I was always under the impression you just worked for like one hour a day. <laughs> I mean, that would be like my, that would be the best thing ever. You could just get the same pay, just work for like one hour a day. That would be brilliant. Because <laughs> you always wake up so late. So I'm always like, oh, <laughs> you're just working for like an hour. My job is at a COVID testing centre. I'm loving it, but my hand got a bit of cramp last night. Aw, oh, that's not good. That must be a really tough job at points, though, Rend. Is that not a little bit scary? Do you do the tests? That's what I was angling towards. I was slowly doing less and less work for the same money. I know. If I could do less work for the same money, I would. <laughs> Most of us probably would. I've had really stomach pains the last few days. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, British accent, Algerian boy. <laughs> British. I like when people say British because they're, I'm like, wait, British, okay, do you mean London or do you mean like Aberdeen? Britain is big. Like, 
come on. They, I, it sounds so different to me. The, di- the, the differing accents across the UK. I just don't get how people can think it all sounds like one. I basically prepare the samples that may contain COVID for the people that do the testing, if that makes sense. Yeah, fair enough. You're in Canada. That's so cool. You're in Canada. I love it. You're in Montreal. Britain isn't big for someone from Canada. Well, it's not, but... Have I seen you in here, Algerian boy? I feel like I've seen your name before, but maybe not. What's the, what's Montreal like? I've never been to Canada. Rob has, though. <laughs> I only know the Cockney accent and the RP, right. I can't do a Cockney accent, so don't ask me to do one. <laughs> Montreal is like the benefits of the US with the look of Europe. Right. Sounds pretty cool. Like an American... No. The benefits of the US. Which are, like, what? Cheese from a spray can. In the US, everything is easy and works and planned out and it is new. I like, in the US, everything is easy. I'm gonna die. And that's fine. I think Montreal is the capital. Ottawa is the capital, right. Is it? If you ever hear me speaking English, you will hear this annoying French accent. How, I don't think any accent could be annoying. Apart from my own, I can't stand my own. So do you speak fluent French then, Algerian? That is awesome. How many people in here can speak more than one language? Myself included. Oh my god, I did not think that would hit, but there you go. That was kind of close. That's fine. <laughs> Tabby's Mac is to be feared. I know a little bit of Spanish and that's about it. And I also speak Arabic. That's awesome. I can speak four if my beginner knowledge of Spanish and Japanese count. Green and I for sure, because English is not. Yeah, you guys are. Yeah, you guys speak fluent Dutch, obviously. Oh, they bring out the Ness. Let's have Casio for some fun. 
Beginner counts Spanish, French, German, Dutch and English. I can speak four fluently and I'm learning German and Spanish. Yeah, Tabby, you speak like Vietnamese or something, don't you though? Your parents are from there or something, I think. I can't, I don't remember. Something like that. So six, right. I speak two. <laughs> Understand. Five. Sort of. English, Vietnamese, Japanese and Spanish. That's awesome. I speed read and write, read and write um, two languages fluently. Um, I can understand two in addition to that, um, spoken and re written, and I can sort of understand written in another language. Only the written, though I can't understand the spoken. <laughs> I nearly had a heart attack when Kazuya got announced. He was actually on my Dream Fighter Pass choices. Now I have to mean him. Yeah, me too. I oh, I, Kazi was a brilliant choice. I was so happy. I love him so much. With the dictionary, I can translate the other four. Did I hear boyfriend call? Yeah, you probably did. Canute is famous for coughing on stream. He's a wee bit sick at the moment, so I'm a little worried about him. Mm-hmm. I can read all the languages I know, but I only know how to write in English. Yeah. That's awesome. I didn't know we had so many bilingual. I don't, I thought I did know that. We had so many bilingual people, or multilingual people, I should say. Myself included. <laughs> I uh, speak fluent English. Uh, I speak fluent Norwegian. I also read and write and um, read and write fluent Norwegian. Um, I can read Danish and Swedish, but don't not speak it or write it. And I can also listen. I can also I can understand it. Listen, uh, listened and spoken Danish and Swedish. Danish probably less so. Um, and I can read some Icelandic. Not much, but some. And that's about uh, so that's five languages, I think. If I can hear a language, I can usually tell what the language is. See, I'm rubbish at that. I can't do that. If you could pick one language to be fluent in, like, and you could wake up tomorrow and be instantly, completely, 100% fluent in a language, um, like, to absolute perfection, um, which one would you pick? I'd pick something really weird. Good game. I would pick Korean. Tabby would pick Korean. Lemon picks Spanish. And Grey picks himself. <laughs> Chinese would be a good pick, but I think I'd rather know Spanish or Japanese. I think I'd pick like Finnish or something else. Like I would pick something weird. <laughs> Finnish or like Greenlandic or something like that, so I would pick. Three. Probably Japanese, it's context heavy, so it can help when translating Nintendo leaks. I would go, I would, I do like Russian, but I would never go there. I would pick Scottish so I could understand you. Rob, how dare you? We've had so many conversations and you've never ever once had a problem. Oh no, I would pick Scottish Gaelic. I would pick Scottish Gaelic, absolutely. 
And finished. <laughs> don't know why, I just think it would be really cool. I only know one word in Finnish and it's like Perkele or something. Which just means like fuck. Like Swedish Helvete. Or Norwegian you say it as well. I tried learning Scottish Gaelic. Um, I didn't get that far in it because the grammar and everything was fine. It was the spelling and, and the pronunciation that I couldn't get past because that language does not look how it sounds in any shape or form. Um, so the pronunciation was ridiculous. I could not get it. I could not. just could not do it. Because like in Norwegian, every word sort of looks how it, every every word looks how it sounds. You know what I mean? Um, maybe some dead language that no one knows how to speak. I'll only teach to the word they start a cult. I better be in this cult, the cult of Grey, and we worship Grey the ancient, the evil ghost crocodile language. I'm here with the super secret grey face reveal. This is just a Mac arena, this is crazy. I have avenged. Good. Oh my god. Am I really gonna fight you with the- I, I'm a terrible Kazia player by the way. I just like the 10 hit combo. <laughs> That's all I care about. <laughs> right, Grey. I was saying to Fluffy that you guys are gonna come up and visit me and we're gonna go see Devon Townsend or something together. And you're gonna come up and see us. And you get the elusive boyfriend reveal. If Little Mac went to college, what would his major be? Probably sports physiology or sports psychology or something. Right, how the fuck do you play his cat? You get the weirdest fucking jump. Right, okay. What the fuck? Hang on. Oh my god. How to pronounce his name? Knut. That's his name. Goodbye. Knut. That's his name. Yay! Right, here we go. Okay, I just I just sat there and waited for that. Knut, yeah, that's how you pronounce his name. But yeah, Knut is a he's very good. I've never revealed what he looks like, I mean ever on in the server. We're just saying his name a bunch of times. <laughs> well, he would say it better than I do. Also, hey, Bread Games, I didn't see you, and I just saw you while you're messaging the chat there. Right, I'm not a bot, right? Tabby, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You've done enough dominating. <laughs> 
Your Kaz was not bad. He's not an easy character. I just meme with Kaz. I just do 10 hit combos. That's all I'm doing. I'm joking, Tabby. It's okay. I think that was your second one, not the third. Now, Takazi is not easy. Um, he's really, really hard to use properly. Right, okay. Right, well, mate, we'll see that this... Oh, never mind then. He's like the new bayonet, a bit more fun. <laughs> I know, he's an arsehole. I want to... Would it be funny if someone was to play Sonic and time you out? I'd like to see them try. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Foreshadowing. Alright! We're out here catching foreshadows! Time out me with Sonic, never been done before because I'm a fucking little Mac. <laughs> so who wants to pick? You know what? I'm going to pick Sonic for a laugh. I found out the music, lobby music is on Spotify. Yeah, the whole, te lots of Tekken music is on Spotify. Oh, let's pick some Sonic. I haven't played Sonic in about a hundred years. He was my old fucking, one of my old brawl mains. Love a bit of Sonic. Don't worry, we're all bad in this arena. Ruining your own stream, fuck yeah. Love a bit of Sonic, haters can piss off. <laughs> Try tree join the cord. I don't know who that is. Oh, well done, Lemon. Who's Stim Pack? I think it's Pet. Oh, that's a new one. Don't really get to see a lot of pets, unfortunately. Lemondorf. Right, so I was actually supposed to stream Final Fantasy 7 tonight, but... <laughs> oh, well... <laughs> Tomorrow is going to be Smash anyway, and then Monday I'm going to do Sims 4. But if if No More Heroes arrives on Monday, I'm going to do that instead. I'm going to do a first attempt with a pet on Celest Oh, on Celestros? How, how was that? How did that go? I haven't fought a pet in forever. These arenas are just K rules and Pit and Ganons and Max. <laughs> this is just all it ever is with me. Little Mac players, I collect them. I'm the mother Mac. Pretty good, I won 10 to 6. Not bad. Now that I'm back in school, I made some friends. Oh, that's good. Wow. They pet me and they play with my hair and I love them very much. Even though I've only known for like two or three weeks. I posted the VOD on Akazu Discord for feedback and I got a lot of criticisms for sloppy neutral. Ah, bully on them! 
you won, so what? <laughs> Who cares how you play as long as you win? <laughs> I'm going to be a number now, equally lurking. Enjoy the remainder of the stream. No problem, Fluffy. Thank you for joining in for a little bit. And likewise, if you ever want to confide in me, then you always can. Exactly, but I got some good advice from them. Yeah, I got some good advice as well from the Mac Discord. They were really helpful. I love that one singular jab there. <laughs> Mac would never punch only once. <laughs> yeah, I think if you're at Little Mac's major, Mac wouldn't go to college. He was like, he was a world boxing champion at 17 years old. He wouldn't even have finished high school. I never need to finish high school, you know? High schools in New York don't have boxing scholarships or something like that. That's how, that's how my Little Mac talks, apparently. Like this, you know? Now I mean? <laughs> Little Mac was a beauty school dropout, no graduation. <laughs> beauty school? <laughs> He was the quarterback of the football team before he decided that boxing was the better career option. He's from New York, he... He was too busy dropping out of school to listen to Run DMC at home. They were all short, yeah, a really short quarterback, but a fucking powerful one. He's not that short. Little Mac is taller than me. Like, honestly, his cannon height is five foot seven, and that's taller than me. Two. Two. I don't like K. Rule. Play DK. What's wrong with K. Rule? Oh, well, everything is wrong with K. Rule, obviously, but. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> I can't near near side be cruel because of his super armor. You have to fight other strats.
All right, I'm back. If Punch Out got a movie, would you like it to be a light-hearted movie or a serious boxing movie? A little bit of both. I would like to see um, like Little Mac's childhood and how he got to be a boxer and just just more Mac content and how like the little underdog wins. But I think it could be there could be a lot of funny moments in it as well. A Punch Out documentary. Who would play Little Mac though? Like re genuinely. Hi, I'm gonna jump into the voice chat. Hi, man. You in here, meme? No, he's not. <laughs> A mockumentary style punch out movie would be epic. Be like. Mac, what do you think about the, um, like, what what do you think about the the latest decisions in the, the WVBA to have you fight against King Hippo? Or, or, great, or great Tiger? I don't know nothing. I'm just going to say Great Tiger ain't nothing but a little kitty cat. <laughs> king Hippo's going to be the king of losing. Tom Cruise can play Little Mac. Right, no, he only get, he only gets to play Little Mac when he's losing because then he gets punched in the face and that would that would be really funny. Is there a lot of lag? Where are you situated, Brad? Are you in the UK? Most of the people here in the I'm I'm in Norway, but most of the people here are in the UK. Time to stall the fuck out with a Sonic! Sonic's got a fucking... Who would play like Doc and like Glass Joe and stuff? Who would play King Hippo? Max got a sleazy boxing manager who he dumps for Doc. That would happen in the movie. Super macho man. I'm in Ireland. Yeah, there's most of the people here. Well, Grey's in the, ne the, the, Netherlands. the Netherlands. I can't say it. Sorry. I have a feeling this is not going to go well. I've not played Sonic legit in like months. Oh my god, I'm so dead. Ah! How the hell am I supposed to know? How many guys you got in Smash? You asked me this before. Um, about a thousand. I can check actually, but I don't actually know for sure. John Goodman or Butterbean is King Hippo. <laughs> That's not fun though. Idris Elba's Mr. Sandman. Okay, yeah, that would work. Or just get Mike Tyson himself. You pick Sonic and want to have fun. I think Sonic is fun. It's fun, fun to fight and fun to play it, play again as. I don't really do the whole character hate thing. I think it's a waste of time and it's kind of pathetic. So.
Sorry, Gary, you asked for that one. I am dead. That was fun, actually. <laughs> He's tagging me. Good game. That was fun. Who's next? Right, um... Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a ticker by the tool. If it's good, let go. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Correct choice. No, I want to use... That... One. Wayne Brady is Disco Kid. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Disco kid! Oh, I love that. I do enjoy fighting Sonic. I might be one of the few. Character hate just seems a bit dumb to me. I completely agree, Gray. I like fighting Sonic. There's not a single character in this game I just like fighting. There's definitely ones that are more frustrating than others, but you can't do anything about it. Oh. And if you want to learn to beat them, you have to fight them. Don't ask me. The only characters I dislike fighting are Pichu, Pikachu, Steve, and Diddy, Diddy Kong, but I won't refuse to fight someone who uses those characters. I know. Hey, Yoshi Games 14. How are you? It's a free arena. Just drop in if you want. Play whoever you like. We don't do toxic. That's the name of my server. Is the toxic caves, and my whole name is my whole channel is poison themed. We don't do that. We don't do asshole plays though. Just a lot of fun. It's exclamation point arena. Yeah, there you go. What do, version of Gen 4 remake will you get? I have pre-ordered Shining Pearl because I have di I had Diamond as a kid. Um, most of my friends are getting Diamond, and I always get the opposite version from what they all get. They always tend to sort of get the same one. Um, for example, they all got Let's Go Eevee, so I got Let's Go Pikachu. They all got Sword, so I got Shield. Um, so I got. They're all getting Diamond, so I'm getting Pearl. And also this re this gen, um, I always like Dialga more, but for some reason Palkia was just calling to me, so I'm getting Pal. But I've got a Dialga anyway. I've got a shiny Dialga. I'll have you know. Please don't hate me. I mean Ness. Oh, I play as Ness as well. I love fighting against Ness. What are you talking about? <laughs> Ness players are some of the fucking best. That's a good idea. It means they will come for you for exclusives. Yeah. I've got a living dex anyway, so everything is just like, I've got everything ready to go. Do I count as a Pokemon master now? Like actually, because I've got every Pokemon. I've got a living dex. People bash me for paying ne playing Ness. Nah. Fuck those people. Ness is fun. I love, oh, I'm going to use Ness the next fight actually. Ness is a lot of fun. Well, I'm going to use Belmont and then I'm going to use Ness. And then I'll use my main, who is Little Mac. <laughs> you guys are interested in wanting to fight more with me or join more arenas? 
Or if you like Pokemon, Nintendo, variety content, retro games, shiny giveaways, all that sort of stuff, then feel free to drop me a follow or join the Cord, where we have a very active little Discord, despite the size of it. It is very... It's a cool little place. Palkia was calling to me because it's pink. Probably is because it's pink. I don't know. For some reason, I just felt like Palkia this time. Not that I'll probably use Palkia in my... Excuse me, my main team. But, um... Because I can't decide what Pokemon I want to use on my main team. I want Torterra, Empoleon... Probably Garchomp, Miss Magius, Bronzong, Honchkrow... Togekiss, Electivire, Magmortar, there's too many that I want! <laughs> Sinnoh had a lot of sh shitty Pokemon, but also had a lot of good ones, so... My hair is long and I love it. So is mine! Long hair bitches unite. Have you played co-op online? You mean Smash? Like team battles? Or like, what do you mean? There's a cat, hang on. Unless it's something I'm, I'm being an idiot. Sorry, I just have to check on my cat. Also, um, if you join the Discord, um, I am hosting a tournament sometime next month in September. If you guys want to join the tournament, um, you'll have to join the Cord. But if you guys want to enter my tournament, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. These people bash me for playing Ness is because apparently Ness is for little babysitter that spam. Those people are fucking weird. They always just don't know how to beat Ness. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. The tourney is um, it's a real prize. Um, I will pay for the. I will send you the or pay for the amiibo or, or Steam game or whatever or Nintendo eShop game of your choice, and you also get Eternal. Um, VIP in this channel and also eternal VIP in the Discord. You get a special role. I want to see if anyone can top their current champion who is a Diddy Kong player, or at least was a Diddy Kong player. I think they've now moved on to Wario. Um. Simon is totally like this guy's mentor. I also play Mario. Show us your Mario and your Ness. I want to see them. Well, I bet you're great. God, the Belmonts feel so fucking heavy in comparison to Little Mac now. You'll never guess who I am playing next. K rule. Randoms. You're gonna play randoms. Richt Richter. It's random, isn't it? Well, the bell must feel so heavy. I cannot do this. I actually picked random. Fair enough. I'm gonna pick Ness after this one. So I hope I don't win. <laughs> R.I.P. Simon. <laughs> hey, Simon's not dead yet. He's not that old. We've got to love Castlevania up in this chat. 
Although I think I'm the only one. <laughs> Get away, get away. People bash me for being 13 and being decent at Smash. A lot of people who are young and... It's just, a part of it is just jealousy. They're insecure about themselves and their own skill. Because apparently being Smash, good at Smash to say, defines who you are as a person. But don't worry so much about what other people think of you. You just need to focus on your own stuff, you know what I mean? As you get a bit older, you'll realise how much easier that becomes. If you want to play as who you play as, who you play as, don't listen to anyone else's stupid meaningless opinions. They don't matter. And I am dead. God, the Belmonts feel heavy. <laughs> That's because there's so much muscle, they're hard to carry. I'm a solo Mac main. Alright, Miss Thing. Right, that's your third one. Get out. I think. <laughs> I'm gonna try Ness. Ness is fun. I literally had a guy go off at me just because I played Mac. Look guys, I'll say it once and I'll say it again. People will always hate. Regardless of who you beat them with, people are gonna find a reason to hate them, so just stop listening to them and just play the characters you wanna play. Don't listen to what other people have to think, it's just- that's just noise. It's like, man, who cares what, like... I've had hate as well because I've played Little Mac. And because I'm a girl. Because people don't take me any- because people don't take me seriously. I remember w a Smash tournament once. It was like a sort of local society and there was a- um, one of the best players wasn't there that night. We had a little mini Smash tournament and people were sort of like, oh well... You know, sort of not taking me seriously because it was back in Smash 4, you mean the worst character in the game. And I was like, you play the worst character in the game, you're also a girl. Haha, ha, we don't need to take this girl seriously. And guess who won that tournament? <laughs> if you're going to flame someone, at least be original. Mans went off and targeted the fact that my parents were divorced and we just used it as a roast the entire time. What kind of insult is that? I know, at least come up with something fucking funny. Like, if you're going to insult someone, you know what I mean? And that's why I get away with it all the time. Smash it, it's funny. Cheers. Just had a swig of mead there, wasn't so bad. Score, that's what we say in a region. Just cheers. Very nice. Are you okay? You okay? You okay? Are you okay? You okay? You okay? Are you okay? You okay? You okay? All my kids! There's a big one! that down a bit, those are quite... yeah. Your nest is pretty good, Yoshi. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. And that's why it just deceived me. <laughs> Power guy, sir, is better than Buster Wolf. I agree. But, unfortunately, it's not me that made the song. <laughs> People never take us female, us girl Smash players seriously. But, you know what? I'm fine with that. Underestimate me. Please do. Puts me in a better position to screw you over.
No, no, I don't think I will underestimate you. What does that mean? <coughs> but don't overestimate someone either, you know? Who won? I'm looking forward to see who won. Well done. So far, I like your Ness. Hope I don't get DC'd again so I can see what you can do again. It means you kick my ass that many times that I can. <laughs> it's all in the hips. That's a secret. Would you eat ovaries like caviar? What the fuck kind of question is that? Uh, the answer is no. Oh my god, yeah. I, do you remember that meme that used to be on the internet? People like when you would like a woman, you would see a picture of an attractive man or something, and all the comments would be like, "Oh my god, my ovaries!" And I'm sitting here being that dumb bitch who's like. Your ovaries, bitch, what? Because apparently your ovaries are the parts that tingle when you see an attractive person. Oh my god, my ovaries. You mean you, you fucking, you mean you fucking were ovulating at the sight of this person? I mean, damn, girl. <laughs> no, I mean, I would eat ovaries like caviar. Tabby, if that was your attempt at a boring question, as I always request, then um, they're not. It's not working. That was a. Fa I call this failure. <laughs> if you were to make a Pokemon team with six Smash characters, who would you choose? Uh, Charizard, Pikachu, P2, Lucario, Mewtwo, and the other one. <laughs> I don't know. Little Mac, Ness, Terry. No, my mains. Oh, shit. Hang on. Stepping on the beach. All right, Miss Byleth. My boring question, I'm planning on going to college in my med school before proceeding to get a job as an anesthesiologist. What majors do I take? Uh, no, that's not a boring question. That's like a reality question. A boring question would be like, what's your favourite road? Or like, what's your favourite brand of boiler? That's a boring question. Reality questions are boring. My favourite road is Rainbow Road. My favourite road is whatever one Travis lives on. That's my road. Oh, I angled it too far. I like reality questions. What rice cooker you got? I've not got one. <laughs> My Ness is trash right now, so I'm playing Lucas. Oh, I play Lucas a lot as well. He's my fourth character. But I've not used him in forever, because I've been basically solo macking it up right now. 
Good game. Nice Ness, Ella. Thank you, Lemon. I li My friend, um, who's an amazing Ness player, he taught me how to play as Ness. And while I was, and while I was learning how to play as Ness, um, yeah, I learned a lot of things. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Man, that drink really did relax me. I don't think we have a rice cooker. We've not got one. I never eat rice. <clears throat> I'm going to switch to Pucus after this one. That means Lucas. My brother had taught me how to play his nest in Smash 4. Come on, Tabby. It's going to work. We eat rice, but I thought caramel is in a pot. I think I thought everyone did that. No, you get like rice cookers that are like just for making rice. I suppose you could make it in a pot, though. Nothing to say that you couldn't. Oh shit! Oh my god! If only I could recover his nest. His recovery is not that hard to use, personally. Gray is used to flying back from anywhere. Have you played Earthbound? If you didn't, I recommend it. I've played all three Mother games. And love them a lot, so yes. I played them years ago. I streamed um, Mother 2, or Earthbound, a long time ago. Um, that was a lot of fun. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Mother 3 is what got me to main as Lucas. Yeah, it's a good game. It's probably, Mother 3 is probably my favourite one out of the trilogy. That's my cousins that I mean both Ness and Lucas. No, don't you fucking dare. <sighs> Ness feels a lot heavier, but I think I'm just used to playing his Mac so often. No coming back from that one. Good game. That was a lot of fun. Right. Let me switch to Mac. Tabby, we always end up in the same match together. The robot Drago boss made me rage until I replayed it again just to realise the boss is not that hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hated the fucking, um, I hated the Mr. Generator or what his name was, it's like a robot, it's like a robot skeleton thing from what I remember. Hydrate, thank you. And with a cocktail, that's what I'm drinking now.
You know what? I'm gonna play Mother 3 again. Go for it! More Mother Chat? Do it in the Discord. Join us there. I kinda wanna see JK Simmons in a wig play Vo Von Kaiser. I need to look up what he looks like. That could be Von Kaiser. We'd have to speak fluent German. You need to get an actor from each country. Because that's all Punch Out is, it's just stereotypes. Even Little Mac's a bit of a New York stereotype in a way. Do you think Ninten is Ness's father? No. A lot of people do. Yeah, I've heard the theory. Um, I don't believe it personally. Right, Tabby, was that your third? I think so. Or wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. If you think about it, it could be true. I think it could be true, but I think it's better just sort of left up to the player's imagination. Personally, I prefer it a lot when... I personally prefer it when games are a bit more like that. When it's just sort of left up to your own interpretation, that's what I prefer. <laughs> Fox Squirtle. So big and heavy. Hmm. Say hi, Cloud. He's not saying hi. <laughs> he's getting so big. I feel like he's getting bigger every single day. In that right, Knut? Cloud is getting bigger every day. Do you think Nintendo could fit in Smash? It would, be, would it be a copy of Ness? It would be a copy of Ness. Would your two cats spend much time playing together? Yeah, they're always together. Cloud and Jean, they're virtually always beside each other. Cloud cries if we all go upstairs and Jean will come upstairs with us and he's downstairs on his own. He'll start, like, crying and come up and find us. He doesn't like being on his own. Cloud usually sticks nearby. Jean sort of does her own thing a lot. But they're very close, um, which I'm very grateful for. They are extremely close. Don't drink the alcohol, please. But I'm so happy for Cloud, he's getting so big. Big and strong. But I am a paranoid cat mother. I am ridiculous. It might change as they get older. I hope it doesn't, but... They're very good together. They play all the time together. Male cats are always big wimps. He's not really a wimp. He is quite brave. He's very, um... What's the word for him? He, he does, he try. he sort of learns things the hard way. It's a black and white coloured cat that comes out of nowhere when me and my brother are walking. The cat is nice. Yeah. Every cat is nice. My cats are still kittens. Um, I can post a photo of them in the cord if you want to see them.
You walk your cat? I might re-download Discord. Go for it. You want to stay at, if you want to be more active um, with my community, then Discord's the place to be. Or you can drop me a follow here to keep up with whenever I go live. What is that delay? Is this man in Australia? Tabby is in America. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Thanks for the follow, Yoshi. What happened, Tabby? Everything all right? Oh, right, yeah. That could mess things up a little bit. That sucks. Not your birthday. That sucks if it's not your birthday. Happy unbirthday. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. Remember when that song came out? That, remember when that song came out? Yeah, Jesus. even match so far. Very nice. I try not to. I don't use Lucas's up smash a whole lot. It's just too slow for me. What's your favourite brand of crisps? Ah, oh, the UK's got too many crisps to pick, so I'll throw the question back at the chat. What is your favourite favorite brand of crisps? I like Frazzles, Discos, Quavers, Squares, Frisps, um, Little Walkers. I'm eating some KFC Zinger flavoured crisps. I like any crisp. Any crisp is fine with me. The crisp selection in Norway is fucking balls. Except for the Sirlons chips. That's all British brands, Tabby, you wouldn't understand. Crisps are my favourite food, I wish I could live off them. I do too, I would love crisps. My dumb American brain doesn't understand. They're just different types of crisps. 
You know what, Tabby? I go on Amazon and see if you can get some British crisps sent to you. You can order them like on Amazon. You can get like a big box of them. Oh, Lemon is playing his Link. I do love a Link. My favourite are the extra hot Cheetos. Yeah, Cheetos are like American, aren't they? I'm playing with the cats right now. I've got like a... Got my thing with the toy. There used to be a toy on this like string, but they tore it off, so now it's just like a string with a bead on it. I don't think they're spicy enough. Do you like really spicy foods, Tabby? I fucking love spicy. I hate spicy food, so I'm like white though. So don't ask me. I am painfully white. <laughs> I drank a cup of sriracha. Oh my god, sriracha. That's awful. I all dress Lay's. I get them whenever I go to Canada. Lay's are really good. Here in Norway, the selection of crisps is just rubbish. It's honestly terrible. Sick. Yeah. All right. Good game, guys. And now you got an answer to me. Let's do it. That looks like a comfy hoodie. I wish I could wear it. Oh, emotionless passion, one of my favorites. It's quite a bit of lag here. Why did I do that? Ugh. 
Oh, very nice. Caught me out with a down smash. Should have expected that, really. Oh, I freaking love this song! Although Be In The Mirror is one of my favourite songs, video game songs ever, not just a Tekken song. There's a lot of lag in this match. Ah, shit, that messed me up. Oh, that lag was pretty bad, but it was a good game. There we go. Oh, I'm not going to be on for much longer. And yet there's loads of people in the arena. It was a good game, just the lag was bad. And I'm not sure if it's me. Why did it need to lag? I don't know. Shit happens. For real, Gray. Fine. No K rule. Just Jigglypuff. <laughs> Good luck, he says. Using Jigglypuff, he says. Oh crap. I did not mean to jump off there. That's depressing. Any reason you're using Jigglypuff, Gary? I would not have thought that was a character you would use, but fair enough. I want to land a big punch on you. <laughs> the wake up punch. <laughs> oh god. That was fun. Right Tabby, me and you always fight each other. Um, so I'll jump out. Not that I don't like fighting you. Actually, no, I'll stay in. It'll be fine. What's the matter? Mm -hmm. What's up? 
We're gonna fight. Don't worry about it, Tab. Get you good. Get you well and good. I like that it's gore playing as well. Who here's played the first Xenoblade? That game's a masterpiece. Nice fun. The Xenoblade remake was game of the year 2020 for me. Oh yes. What a brilliant game. <laughs> You're so fucking good at timing that, I always miss it. That damn counter. No! I fucking love the British voices in the game, makes everyone having American accents. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, good work, Tabby. I think I'm gonna make this next one the last couple ones because I'm really tired suddenly. I need to go for a walk. Now it's Ryan time. Ryan was my favorite in that whole game. I used, I never ever had Ryan out of the party. Ryan was the fucking best character in that whole game. One day I'll stream Xenoblade. Right, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. There you go. Do, 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 do. Well, it's human never ever get to fight Robins.
Oh, wow. What is the thought on the Robin matchup? Against Mac, I wouldn't be able to say. Hey, lol, Drio5. Sorry, I have to up this pronunciation of your name. It's gonna be really clo close, I think. Oh, shit. Well, we'll see what happens though. Robin can sometimes be really tough for Mac, I think, actually. Um, but, Tabby's usually always capable of pulling it back. Oh, God, that was really close. 174%. Jesus. Brilliant comeback, well done. I think this is your third one. Heart racing game one. <laughs> Lemon will be your third, okay. No problem. Oh god, I'm tired. I've had a long day today. I haven't really done anything, but just... I really, 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 really fucking need a holiday. Hey Jaku Gaming, hello, nice match Tabby. Yeah, Tabby's one of our best players. One of my best players on the server. <laughs> um, brilliant little Mac player. Much love and respect there. 
So I feel honored that we more or less kind of go even, to be honest. I'm just kind of like, God, to even think I could go even with someone like that. But I really liked your Robin, was it? Really liked the Robin. And plus I don't ever get to fight any Robins except for Lee. So, um... Really, well done to everybody. Oh my god, I am tired. Robin is so bad for Mac. I don't get to fight against Robin enough to confirm. I would think so. Alright, Lemon. Thanks for coming in tonight, Lemon. Appreciate the games. You had a great job in the games. Good night. Now, who's Owen? Is Owen in here? I don't know. I'm going for a walk soon, I think. I'm going for a walk. I feel like I'm tired. What are you going to do? Mm. Captain Falcon, though. I can respect that. I believe, you know, I respect every character, so whatever. But Captain Falcon. I like Captain Falcon. I love fighting against Falcons, even though it's Max. Probably one of Max's hardest matchups, if not the hardest. Let's go K Rule and Falcon. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Grey is an excellent K Rule. I normally would commentate more in this spot. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> you guys are into more Smash? Feel free to join the Discord. I have a really active server with people of all skill levels and all different all different characters. Um, People are always up for a game in there. I um, really recommend it. It's a cool little place. Very active for the sort of size of it. So, um, really recommend it. Because it's my own server. <laughs> and if you want to keep up with me and watch more, soon to be No More Heroes 3 variety, retro stuff, especially, I do a lot of, then stick around for that too. I really appreciate everybody coming in tonight. And I hope you've had a good Saturday night. Oh, all oh, right. What? I don't have braces anymore. Oh, nice. That'll be a relief for you. Braces are fucking awful. I had them for a couple of years.
I've had them for two years. Well, I remember them. I had them about that long. I'll be released to get them off, eh? That's gonna be a really close game. My stiffy still feel weird about half a week. Yeah, they will for a little bit. Well done, Gray. Good game. Right, one more with me, one more with Jaku. And then that's it. I'm live for two hours and that's long enough for me. God, I am exhausted. Oh fuck, why didn't I jump right at that precise moment? You going off the bed? Yeah. Alright, I'll, I'll be up a little bit. Are they inside or...? <laughs> I'm not leaving them out all night. Yeah, I'll go get them when I come back. When you're distracted from the smash match by how good the song is. Wait, what the fuck? Finally! Jesus, Grey takes forever to die sometimes. Oh crap, I am dead. Thought I was being cool there. Oh, Jesus, nice one. Actually, I'm gonna make this the last one if that's alright, because I'm. How the fucking hell did I miss that KO punch? Because I am really tired, guys, suddenly. And I am dead. Oh, not quite dead. Do you need a rest and self care is important. I know, we were just saying that to Fluffy, so. <sighs> That's it. Alright. Sleep is important. If you want to fight with me on Smash, um, drop into the Discord and we'll organise something, or you can drop a follow and stay. Stick around for that. Oh my god, I am so tired. I'm gonna go for a walk and clear my brain. <laughs> join it or else. <laughs> it's not quite join it or else, but um, it's a lot of fun in there. A lot of cool people. Recommended. Anyway, I'm gonna probably stream tomorrow with uh, hopefully, probably not, No More Heroes 3. It's meant to arrive on Wednesday. 
Um, but as soon as I get it, I'll put it on. So we'll see what happens. Uh, other in the meantime, I'll probably give maybe we give Final Fantasy Seven a shot. Uh, Final Fantasy Seven remake. I mean, Sims Four again. Um, all right. Enjoy the rest of your night, guys. Let's take away Michael Jackson for a minute. He's watching the match between Ken and Terry. And they're about to get it on. Enjoy the rest of your night. And I will see you.